Hey everyone, welcome back to Makeup Skin. Today I have for you the new Instant Love Palette look. Today I have for you the new Instant Look of a... <laughs> Today I have for you the new Charlotte Tilbury All-in-One Palette. It's the Instant Look of Love in a Palette. So I have Glowing Beauty and I have Blushed Beauty. This is the packaging in which the products come. Um, it says exactly what you get. On the back these are 55 pounds each and i got these through an early access link now i have on one side the deeper shade and on the other side the light shade so what i did in this video was i did bronzer bronzer blush blush i did it all at the same time for you so you didn't have to wait as long in the video to see whether your chosen palette or the one that you're thinking of how it looked on me i also picked up the brand new airbrush flawless setting spray um it is divine guys i don't need to wait till the end to tell you that it smells absolutely beautiful i have only used a little bit of the airbrush flawless one that i did last year um let me actually just smell this it's not bad it's not the white tea is sensational um so you can see i have both sides of my face done one side one and one side the other let me know what you think in the comments down below and which palette that you might pick up i'm also going to be announcing on the screen somewhere the winner of the two luxury palettes of fire rose either i will email you or dm you to let you know if you won if you don't catch this video um it depends if you've put your instagram or your email handle or if you messaged me privately please stick around till the end as i have a huge giveaway announcement to make uh, this year we're going to see a lot of giveaways on this channel as a thank you to you guys for your ongoing support just a quick roundup of what i have on my skin so guys i have been testing shade 50 in the stay naked hydromaniac tinted glow hydrator so i have shade 50 and 51 and i've actually mixed them and it's made my perfect perfect shade obviously all over my face i have the charlotte tilbury palettes as my primer, I have my Huda Beauty Jelly Primer. My mascara today is this Marc Jacobs. Uh, Max has actually been playing with it. It's the Velvet Noir. And this one is in the Major Volume Mascara. Then on my eyes, I have this NARS Mambo Liner, which I'm just going to swatch for you there. It is the best warm brown eyeliner in the world so guys if you want to see how these two looks were created from scratch one on one side and one on the other in real time then please keep watching so this one is instant look of love in a palette now this is pretty blushed beauty so that's the one i'm going to try on actually i'm going to try both on so I've just got my base on. I think on one eye I'll do one and one eye I'll do the other. Let's go ahead and try this one on first and see how it looks on me. I'm going to take the bronze shade and see how that looks on me. Wow, it does show up. I didn't think it would. actually let's do them at the same time so we can compare as we go so now i'm going to take this one here there you go guys so for us medium skin girls this is what this looks like they're both not bad actually this is quite subtle and quite natural. Back to this one again. Now I'm going to take the blush and then what we'll go and do is have a look in natural light. So there's a lot of fallout guys. A very pretty blush now let's look at this deeper one i 
I'm actually quite surprised. Let's go and have a look at the bronze and the blush in natural light. So today I thought I would do something different because I have the two palettes. I thought I would do the bronze and the blush at the same time in natural light and do everything step by step so you can see which palette is for you or whether this is a skip. So on this side we have the bronzer and the blush from the lightest palette and this is the deeper side. They're both really nice actually, I thought this wouldn't show up on a medium skin tone. Let's go and do the eyes. So I'm going to use the lightest palette on my eyes now. So let's go ahead and do a bit of the bronzer in the crease. Now let's do the other bronzer in the crease. Let's see how much we can build the lighter one up. Remember this is from the Film Star Bronzer Duo. the brighten one on. And now let's do the smoky bit. And then let's do the other side. So guys, let's go and have a look at these two eyes in natural light to compare the tones. Hey guys, so I think it's really important for you to see the difference. So this side is the lighter side, the blushed palette, and this is the glow palette. They both actually look really nice. It's all about tones, whether you want a more cool tone or more warm tone. I'm building up some thoughts and I think they're actually going to really surprise you. So what I'm going to do is finish off my eye look. Maybe together it's up to you. And then um, let's get the highlighter on and the powder we'll talk about, the airbrush powder. So guys, I have finished off the eye makeup. This is one half and this is the other. So let's go and have a look at the eyeshadow in natural light with the mascara on, but we'll put some highlighter on first. I'm gonna take my Wayne Goss Large and grab the highlight on the brush. And let's have a look what this highlight looks like on my skin tone. Now to me, that's picking up a little bit too frosty for what I like, but let me blend it. Well, it's definitely highlighted, but I can see it quite a lot. So these are the kind of things that you want to consider if you'd go for this whole palette, even if you're my skin tone. So now the highlight in the deeper A bit too gold but it's picking up nice on camera right let's go and have a look at this whole palette on my face in natural light and then we will do swatches so this is the highlight from the lighter palette on me and this is the deeper highlight from the deep palette on me 
Um, see, I prefer bits of both palette in different ones. This is the finished eye look, guys. I added my own liner. I added the best liner in the world. It's a brown liner from NARS called Mambo. So I just smudged that in. I forgot, guys, I need to put the powder on. So I think the powder in both of these is the same because it's the Airbrush Flawless Powder. Now, they both say, yes, Airbrush Powder, so I'll check up if they're the same shade. So I'm going to go in to the lighter one, tap it off, and just set my under eye. I'll just go into this one to be fair. I don't do around my chin because I get a lot of texture there. And then I think a little bit of bronzing. That gold's picking up really nicely now. And then let's go back into the bronze from here. Bring it back. So there you have it guys, that's the full look. I'm, I actually picked up the new Airbrush Flawless setting spray. This one is the White Tea of Bali. I have reviewed all the products that you've seen uh, before. This is the full size. No melting, no fading, no creasing. So let's go ahead. That smells beautiful now let's do swatches let's start off with the lighter palette so we'll start with number one and go from there number two number three the film star bronze the highlight, then the blush. Let's go and have a look at these swatches in natural light. So from left to right, we've got the three eyeshadow shades, the bronzer shade, the highlight and blush. So guys, let's watch this palette here, the darker one. That is number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. And number six, the blush. So there's a side-by-side -side comparison, guys. So everyone, my final thoughts. I absolutely cannot believe how both sides look equally good. I do prefer the warmer side. However, this one, if it was gifted to you or if you picked it by mistake, it can definitely work. I'm not usually one for seven in one, six in one, you know, like palettes. Because I'm a makeup artist, I like lots of makeup, lots of different things. But then again, having said that, now that I'm a mum, these multiple use instant palettes might be of use to me. I think this was a great idea. They're really nice. However, you could have put a cream product in this. Cream is rife in the industry at, mo at the moment. Everyone's into the rose side of things. There's the rose nui. There's this in terms of the roses. Violette from Violette FR. She wanted the essence of a rose in her red lipstick. You know, everyone's focusing on roses at the moment. So 
I think there could have been a cream product in here just to change it up a little bit because they are all powders and spring summer is definitely upon us and we do all like a variety. I'm going to talk about in my final thoughts each pan. So this colour, this colour and this colour did translate fine on me but a bit too frosty. So I felt they were all too light for me. This defined shade or the smoke shade, um, I think it only just passed. I, I do like it, but it is a bit too light. Why do mummy? Uh, Mummy's doing a video. Then we have the Film Star Bronzer. I actually thought that was perfectly beautiful. It's really, really sheer contouring. Then the highlight I thought was a little bit frosty on me. But on photos, it does look quite nice. And then the blush. I actually really like the softness of the blush. I might put a little bit more on. There was fallout. Do you see what I mean? It's really nice and soft. Whereas this blush from the deeper palette is kind of like a, a burnt orange. But definitely made for my complexion. So overall... Love this palette, could have done with cream, but this shade, these shades are a little bit too light for me. So to discuss every shade in this, the enhanced shade was beautiful, the, br the brightened shade was beautiful, the enhanced shade didn't have too much pigment, but just enough sparkle. I really like the warmth of the smoky. Then the highlight was a little bit too gold initially, I thought but it translates really nicely on camera. And then the blush, we'll put a bit more on. You can see how hot that is. And then I really do need to find out about these powders, guys. On the back, it doesn't say if it's, it says number seven airbrush powder. It doesn't say what shade it is, because this, I have number two medium. However, both powders worked. Absolutely love this white tea of barley. I can't, I can't stop putting this on. I have reviews, as I mentioned at the beginning of the Nude Romance lipstick. I have a review of Wedding Bells, uh, First Dance and Mrs. Kisses in a previous video. That's part of something that she did last year. And congratulations to the winners of the two luxury fire rose palettes i'm sorry that that was so late but with having a baby um i just needed a chance to film a charlotte tilbury video for you i actually have a huge announcement coming um about a giveaway now this product isn't available at the moment worldwide so please stay tuned for that don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you so much for watching and i shall see you in the next one